What's up, y'all? It's Nifty Q. That's Gifted. We are getting into the rehash today. Look, the craziest day anecdotally in Web3 that I've ever had. Like this, it's this has just been nuts. A lot of crazy ass updates. We had some great morning shows. Excited to get to the rehash though. It's been straight wild and we got a lot to cover because this is the top 10 stories in Web3 from the last 24 hours in just 10 minutes. And we've got a very special Pokemon card giveaway we need to get to. So Q, without further ado, what's on deck? All right, ready, set, go. I've got the Legends of Mara announcement. We finally got it over there uh, from the Yuga Labs team. Uh, we're going to be able to hatch, farm, hunt. Uh, this is going to be on September 26th, by the way. 10,000 codas, so coda holders are definitely on the right end of this one. Additionally, the team came out and said this is going to be more of an idle experience. A lot of people had bad you know, kind of experiences with Heavy Metal Forge. So I think the Yuga Labs team is saying, hey, let's make it more idle. It looks like a card game. There also were me bits uh, and some other NFT IP other than just Board API Club and Codas. So super excited. We've been waiting for this one for a while. Yeah, we have. Should be cool. Lots of uh, teasers in that trailer as well. So definitely recommend checking it out. You might see some me bits, maybe some hounds. I don't know. Maybe you'll see some other things, but you definitely should see this next story. It's Matt Kane, an awesome new artist with a project that just went live with an auction today. There is a nons and also multitudes now on his website. So I'm actually going to switch over to the website. We can see the live auction, the floor price going for? on these uh, geez. I mean, the floor is around 1.4 ETH right now, but you can see some of them over three ETH, almost four ETH on these. So another big win, it looks Whoa. like for fine art NFTs. Yeah. So Matt Kane killing it. Um, we'll, we'll be following how that winds up. Wow. There, there's a 24 ETH bid that won on that auction. All right. The next piece that I have, we're going to stay in the art scene here uh, and talk about Marfa. Marfa is starting me and gifted are sadly not able to make the trip out to West Texas, but that doesn't stop the Art Blocks team here. A lot of dope things are happening. We'll have the full schedule in the description if you kind of want to commiserate with us and if you're not going to Marfa, because there is a ton happening over the next four to five days out there. Uh, excited for everybody that gets to make the trip. Yeah, very sad we won't be there, but Biggie, Jimena, all y'all have a good time and we look forward to hearing more. Uh, speaking about more, here's a story about Blur. They are, they've been under scrutiny, but they're under increasing scrutiny right now uh, because they've kind of gone silent on the season two rewards. They were doing great with updates for a while, but we haven't really heard anything. And now here's the update from NFT stats, over 45 thousand ETH of realized losses just since season two started. That means it's much higher. Uh, charts like that are not good, but the fact that they've gone silent also lends some possibility of maybe there's some regulatory uh, scrutiny coming their way too. We don't know, but how do you come back from this? Yeah, Pac-Man is working at Frentech. That's the only explanation. Frentech is innovating. Blur is not. Uh, when they came out the gates, really strong. All right, I got the next piece. This is very quick. Solana had a sale on Reavers NFT minting out. That sent it up to $1.3 million on the volume uh, charts here. You can see most of that being on Magic Eden. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to Solana. We are blockchain agnostic here. We're not ETH maxis. We, we, we love ETH but we also love Solana. So I wanted to give them a quick shout out. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the artwork is not my favorite thing, uh, but hey, it's a win for Solana. Here, here's just a quick glimpse at what the Reavers are looking like and you know, uptick in volume off of this project. There you go. Uh, and all right, we're gonna keep it moving forward with more stories here. The next one is Rec League. They released a big patch. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this up right here. Yes, lots and lots of info coming out. Uh, this looks like a lot, but maybe the yep. most important part is they updated the tournament windows. Yeah, that was huge, right? Because even Orenji was like complaining. He was like, dude, I just got out of Heavy Metal Forge and now y'all are making me grind at three different times during the day just to stay on top of the leaderboard. So they moved it to two times uh, on the leaderboard. Hopefully that leads to some more positive sentiment, but it's good that they're actually taking that sentiment and updating the game. Community feedback, let's go Rec League. All right, and possibly the best ratio that I've ever seen at a NFT party. Uh, Oni Jeez. Force coming out the gate. I mean, there's some there's some shots in here with with our main man's Star Lordy. I mean, just just the goat over there having a great time uh, out there. I believe it's in Japan. Uh, maybe it was Singapore. I, I need to make sure I get my my parties right. There he is. 
Star Lord is getting after it. So I wanted to give a quick shout out. I am an Oni holder. I do rock it as my PFP. Uh, so yeah, it looks like they had a great time. Big things coming. Point systems are now out for Oni as well. So that is a great sign for that project. Yeah, great video recapping some highlights from Korea there and a humble flex there, Q, on the uh, the Oni Force PFP. Here we go. Number eight, Venmo and PayPal announcing interoperability via the Pi USD stablecoin. So you can now buy the PayPal stablecoin and use it to transact in Venmo. Uh, inter offering interoperability for the first time. That's that's cool. I use Venmo and PayPal, so I don't know. Seems seems like a, a win. Yeah, I, I think it's a it's a good piece there on the Rails front, at least for uh, again PayPal and Venmo bo both getting into the space. I wanted to get an updated look here at the Machi proposal. So this is. I cl you know closing very quickly. We've been covering it, covering, covering, it, and now we finally have a almost result at 9 p.m. tonight. That is in about two hours at the time of the rehash coming out. We are going to get a close here on the Machi Suite proposal. It looks like 11 million eight four, so 57 percent gift. This looks like it's going to pass. I you know what what have I been saying? I think I'm sure it's going to pass. I've been feeling confident it's going to pass. Looks like it will. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens from there. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> it's yeah. closing very, very I, I, soon. I don't know what else to say there. No, I mean, uh, I, but, I got to watch the floor prices. Like, what does this do to NFT floor prices? Like, uh, like, or And what does this do to ApeCoin? It's crazy. It's, it's a lot to discuss. And the last story before we talk Pokemon card giveaway here is, of course, we have to talk about Friend Tech. We couldn't have a rehash without mentioning them. Uh, yeah, well, just what, what's happening? Uh, there was a massive surge in new user signups, over 100%. Uh, I think a lot of people thinking this might be Asia coming online a little bit here. But it's interesting to see this trend when you also see decreases in daily volume, total volume, and total value locked at the same time. Um, but yeah, a lot of interesting stats in this thread. Tyler did it, has been doing a tremendous job covering them. And uh, that's in the rehash if you want to dig in more and see uh, what's happening over there on Frontech. Yeah, he's been leaning in very heavily to uh, Frontech there. Actually, you know, Tyler hosts some, some morning spaces. Half of the spaces now, or it feels like three fourths, is now about Frontech and not about NFTs. So people leaning into to Frontech and continuously doing so. I think you're, you're right, uh, hitting it on the head with the Asia uh, adoption there. That's what I've been seeing as well. Dude, the, yep. the next piece, I mean, we're way under time. We flew through this. We we all, we all do have to get to this giveaway. We had an amazing space this morning, and one of the Courtyard team members, the community manager over there, who is in, in charge of releasing these Pokemon IP NFTs. Uh, it, again, this is, not, this is not Pokemon the company. It's people that own Pokemon cards and want to do a digital drop. I'm so... I just give me all the details. Yeah, I'm still shaking. Look, they just released... 175 packs they are one card packs that are tied it's an nft inside an unrevealed pack that is tied to a physical pokemon card that is authenticated held in a brinks vault and they came in talked about it they dropped this mint today 175 of them minted it out in a minute Q and I couldn't even get in on it, but luckily, as you mentioned, their community men, uh, their community manager came in and offered us to do a giveaway. So we now have one of these packs, unrevealed Pokemon cards. It is a physical Pokemon card tied to an NFT that we'll reveal tomorrow, and we are giving one away right now. All you have to do is go to the details on this specific thread and uh, follow the instructions. It's like follow Web3, reshare it, and set up your Courtyard account. It's that easy, and we will choose one lucky winner. And that's it. Info is underneath this post. If I do not pull this Mew, I'm quitting Web3. That's that's a situation because I've had so many L's. I just need this. So there, there's a digital component, like we're saying, with this. So you can actually redeem these NFTs for cards. The marketplace reminds me a lot of Wax. Uh, in those Wax days where you're ripping packs and the marketplace is really active. So yeah, super excited. I didn't get into it because they sold out in like five seconds, but I pulled it up on they secondary. Did. So it's wild. Yeah. And that's it, y'all. That's the rehash. Good luck on the giveaway for those that get in and we will... Uh, uh, we'll announce a winner today. That's it. Peace. Our Robert Tribe.